Hey guys, welcome to another tutorial. Today we're looking at how to emulate the Indie preset. So many of you are um, asking for the Indie presets, how to emulate them. So today we're gonna have a look at it and especially the Indie 01 preset. So let's dive into it. So let's dive into it. I've opened this picture. Um, so first off, we're gonna start by adjusting the white balance. So we're gonna set it to auto so that we have a first point of reference to start. I tone it a little bit down because it's a little bit yellowish to me. So then I'm gonna tackle the exposure. Um, yeah, just going down a little bit. I'm gonna leave contrast for now. And then we're going into the highlights. I'm pulling the highlights down and pushing the shadows up just to give it more of a faded look. Um, a little bit toning down of clarity. Uh, yeah, that looks good. And let's see, let's see, let's see. That's good. All right. So next thing, what we're gonna do is going into the tone curve and that's where, in my opinion, is most of the work of all presets is done. So um, to give it a little bit more of a faded look, you're gonna have to pull down the highlights and pull up the shadows. So if you see, if I do it more extreme, it's gonna have a, a really faded look, but we're just gonna have to do it a little bit and push it to a point where we can see a good S curve. Yes, let's say that. And another important point is not doing only the RGB um, S RGB tone curve, but also going into the different colors like red, green, and blue. And for that point. We're going to do the same, pulling down, pull up, yes. That's for the red and we'll go for the green and guys be aware, just don't overdo it. So if you see, I only push a little bit up on the shadow part of the green and already has a really big impact. So I try to keep it really subtle. Also on the highlights, going back a little bit. Let's see. Yeah, you, you can't push it too much on the greens. Let's see here. And you already see it's going to a yellowish highlight. Push it a little bit here. Yeah, if you push it too much, you see what it does also on, on the other on the other side. Just give it a really subtle, give it a hint of yellow in the shadow. And if you raise it up here, just just think a little bit there so if we deactivate it and activate it again you can already see the difference um, I think the red is too strong toning back a little bit Here. And it's all about of playing with the tone curve. Good. Let's leave it here. So next thing is the HSL module. So it's HSL stands for hue, saturation and luminance. And here we also, we just try to play and to emulate as good as we can. So I'm just gonna skip this part where I adjust the HSL module and just showing you the result of it. All right. 
So now that we've done with the HSL module, we're going to switch to the split toning part and I think that's where the magic lies in her preset. Um, so going back onto her website, especially it's apparent on the first um, sample image. Um, you're gonna see here in the highlights, it's gonna have a little bit of a yellow tint to it. Also in, on the next image, you're gonna see this. The, the stone's gonna turn a little bit of a yellowish green. And if you have a closer look, the bride's dress, you're gonna see the shift in the white into the yellow part. All right, so let's do that. And we go to highlights like this. Push a little bit more. And so in the shadow, I think. Just gonna add a little bit of a yellow tint also in the shadow part. All right, we're gonna leave details, we're gonna leave lens correction for this part. We don't use transform, um, not effect. So we concentrate first on the colors and everything else follows after that. Um, we going to push a little bit of the red, let's see. And again, guys, it's all about subtle changes. Um, just showing you what it really does. I think that looks good. Pushing it. Yeah, I'm pushing it here. Saturation there. Um, what about that? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I really like that toning. Go here. Alright, guys. Good. Let's compare it to the image that we have. Just switch it all. It's already Indie 2. We're gonna focus on Indie 1 and let me have a feel for it. Yeah, it's getting close to it. So now what I'm really gonna do is um, so now what I'm really gonna do is give the image a little bit more of a, of a contrast feel. I'm gonna raise Pull the shadows down a bit more. Yeah. So I'm gonna leave this contrast slider to zero. I love to work more with the tone curve because it gives me more control. So what we're gonna do now is um, we raise the contrast on the image and I really love to do it with the tone curve and not with the contrast slider because it gives me more of a control feel. So let's see. If you're gonna have a look at the highlights, you see the slight touch of yellow on it also in the shadow parts of the image. And let's switch to the side. It's all that what we wanted. Um, you can push, I'm uh, pushing now the exposure back a little bit, just slightly tiny bit. Um, let's see, we do a little bit of um, post vignetting. Again, just try to be subtle a bit. Feather. So guys, if you want to do a really classy film look, um, try to pull up a little bit of grain. I know in the digital age, um, we try to avoid grain as much as possible, but um, if you really look like on the images or on the film presets that are out there, you're gonna see a lot of film grain. So the easiest way is to go to the effects module and pull up the grain a little bit. I'm gonna overdo it so that you can see what, what it does. You're gonna see here, it's all grainy and all that. 
so it's too much um, if you pull it away you, you don't see any grain anymore but I'm gonna add a little bit of grain let's say 17 I love to have the size of the grain let's say by 38 and the roughness let's play a little bit so if you pull on the roughness you see like a more regular grain than um, if you push it up set it to 59 again so it's really subtle but you can see what we've done so guys we're practically done with emulating the preset of India Earl um, have a look of for the before and after um, you can clearly see the yellow tint in the highlights and also in the shadow area and if you go to a website um, you can see especially in this image um, a little bit of this yellow tint here in the shadows and the yellow tint here in the highlights here in the dress just for a quick comparison again and yeah a little bit more yellow in the blue area all right guys thank you for watching please leave a like and a comment if you really appreciate this video um, i will be answering all the questions down in the comments and see you the next time bye guys <laughs>